Hi, my name is George Garcia. I'm a product support specialist with Autodesk Eagle. And in this video, I want to show you one of the new features that has been implemented in the latest release of Eagle. With the latest release of Eagle, we've implemented several new routing modes. And in this video, we're going to cover the new differential pair routing mode. So, Eagle has had differential pair routing before, but the new engine brings it more in line with the improved single trace routing engine, and it comes with a few other benefits as well. So, to activate it, we're going to go over here to the route icon. You'll see that there's a little down pointing arrow. You can left click on that little slip there. You'll see that it'll get the new options, or you have the option of right clicking on it and that will also bring up the options. So we're going to pick route differential pair. You notice that when differential pair mode is enabled, all the differential pairs in the design are going to highlight. That makes it really easy to find the air wires for the differential pair. The big new benefit to this mode over the old one is that the old differential pair mode didn't enable the walk around or the push obstacles methods. But this one does. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to click here. You'll notice that both traces come out together. You'll see that they can push, as you can see right there. Okay. When we place a via, two vias are placed together. We can left click to place it. You'll see again, if it can push, it will. We'll left click to place them. And now we can continue routing through here. And you'll notice it's going to adjust. It's going to move around however it can. And once it gets to within the end, you'll see that it will try to complete it. And I can left click to complete it, or I can hit enter. And that will allow Quick Route to finish the two traces. So as you can see, very flexible. Now the differential pair routing can push obstacles out of the way. It can walk around obstacles, as we just saw and it still uses the quick route functionality that's available in a single trace routing mode where you can hit enter to finish a trace automatically for you. So that's the big new change to the differential routing engine. The spacing maintained between the traces is going to be defined by the DRC or by your net classes. So we know you're really going to be able to enjoy this new functionality. It's going to make routing your pairs so much easier. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.